Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to the Garden Paws demo. I have been dying to play this game again ever since I recorded the first episode, so I'm really glad that you guys seem to enjoy it too. It looks like there is still quite a bit for us to explore out here, and it also looks like we might have a brand new quest giver outside our shop. Now, Mr. Jones, it looks like he's a farmer, and I do think that we met him the other day. In fact, because he looks like a farmer, I wonder if he might be one of the people that we stole the chicken eggs from. I wonder if Mr. Jones is over here to get his revenge. Meet the neighbor. Howdy, partner. Welcome to town. I'm Jones, the chicken farmer. Nice to meet you. Sure, we'll see each other around town quite a bit. Alright, so we're just saying hello? Yeah, looks like he's already off, but it also looked like he had a shop. Was this the guy who was actually selling chickens? Oh, okay, he's still going home. But yeah, we actually found this guy's shop before. Do you think we can buy chickens? Like, do we have to have a special place to put them, or can we just buy them right now? Oh, I wonder if we could just buy some chickens to raise in the shop? I mean, why not? If we can, we might as well do it. We've been doing pretty good with our shop so far, so we definitely have the gold to spare. Oh, and it looks like somebody might have a business idea for us, too. Maybe that'll get us even more gold. I overheard that you did a large order for flowers. Are you interested in doing more? Visit me at the entrance to the town. I've got an idea. All right, so we have to find this Charlie person. And it looks like we might have another letter. Oh, we can enlarge our shop. I took a walk by your shop the other day, and you're really selling well. If you ever want to upgrade its size to sell more and have more customers, come talk to me. My shop is just inside the town by the town wall, from Frank. Oh, Frank was the little koala who was building our shop right at the beginning of the game. Alright, well, let's collect our wood along the way then, because something tells me we'll probably need plenty if we want to upgrade the shop. It would be nice to have more places to sell items, because when we have a ton of animals coming up, it seems like things sell out very quickly, and I just remembered. We have to go and water our daisies. If we don't water these every single day, they're going to end up withering away. We want to make sure that we have plenty of daisies to give to any of the animals that might come by. I wonder if this Charlie creature is going to want some daisies too. It sounds like Abby must have really spread the word after we gave her all the daisies before. But yeah, let's go into town, I guess. This seems like it would be the best place to start. Oh, I thought this was a rock that I could pick up. I wonder if maybe we can make a pickaxe in the future to get some more stone. There's tons of logs out here too, so I wonder if these are the same. If maybe we could make an axe so we could chop up some more wood. We'll have to take a look at that. I think there is actually a crafting menu. Oh my goodness. Oh, there are tons of crafting recipes. It looks like we can make hammers, axes, the pickaxes but I'm not actually sure what they take. Five lemons make one lemonade. Oh, it's not there because we don't have any lemons. Okay, we can make cloth, we can make that bird feed too, but we need wheat for that. So what does it actually take to make hammers and axes? Wooden poles and stone blocks? Oh, and we can make the wooden items from all of the wood that we've been gathering, excellent. We can make a workbench too. Ooh, maybe this would help us craft some different items then? We need wooden boards, wooden blocks. We could actually make all of these things. Well, after we go into town and see what Charlie wanted to do, maybe we'll go back to the shop and see if we can set up something new. This time we are actually using the correct pathway to go into town. At least I think so. It looks like we're coming up on some houses now. Yep, I think I see one of the animals over there with a quest. You must be Charlie? Oh, I actually remember this kitty stopping by at our shop. It might have been one of the first ones to buy one of the items. Alright, so the townsfolk and I would love to request items. Go to Frank at the construction shop and see if he can build a bulletin board where you can take quests from the town. That would actually be pretty nice. Then we wouldn't have to just rely on the cats and the bears and the bunnies that show up outside our door. So I guess Frank must live around here somewhere. I don't remember seeing him last time we poked around. Oh, but I don't remember seeing this either. What on earth is this? Is it like a mining area? 
It looks like there's a little minecart back here, so I wonder if this would take us into the mines. Oh, this is interesting. It might not actually be functional right now, but there is a chest up there, so we can hop our way across all these boards. Maybe there's something special inside? Oh my gosh, a pink backpack? Oh, that is so cute! Is there any way for us to put that on? I wonder if we can use it or something. Maybe... Yeah, if we put it on the slot. Oh my gosh. Now our kitty has the most adorable pink backpack. Now, is that increasing our inventory space by any chance? Because I know we can purchase backpacks. Yeah, I think it might just be purely cosmetic. But one of the creatures around the town is selling inventory spaces. The only problem is that it was super, super expensive. I think they were like right around here somewhere. Maybe it was you? Yeah, Boris with a little chest on his head. Aw, oh, were you hiding that chest inside the mines? Yeah, 2,000 gold for a backpack upgrade, which we don't exactly have at the moment. But I believe we can open our shop now, so maybe we should head back home. Let's just try to find Frank first. Is there a map in this game? Maybe that would help? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So Frank is over here. It looks like we might be headed in the right direction. Charlie actually lives right next to him. It seems like he might be right at the beginning of town. Did I seriously just like walk straight past him then? Oh, maybe it's that one on top of the hill? Can we even get up there? Let's see, maybe if we go around this way? Yeah, it looks like there's a little path leading straight up to this house. And I think I see Frank. Yep, you can see that hard hat from miles away. Hello, Frank. Alright, so this is the bulletin board quest. Hey, I can definitely build a bulletin board in town, but I'm lacking the resources. Collect 20 wood and I'll build one right away. Actually, I think we might have 20 wood like inside our pockets, so that's going to be pretty easy for us to complete. Here you go. Here's all the wood that you need. So, did he already build a bulletin board? Maybe it's out there somewhere? We'll go check, but first... It looks like we can upgrade things here too. Oh, the chicken coop. A small chicken coop to raise chicks. So we can buy up to three chickens with this. I mean, we have the gold. I think we're gonna buy it. I mean, I would love to have chickens in the shop. And I think that said that he's going to work on it tomorrow. All right then, Frank, is there anything else that we can purchase from you? Oh, here's the shop upgrade that he was talking about. This thing looks gorgeous. It looks like it has two tables that we could put stuff on. Ooh, and does it even give us a boost in our own inventory and energy too? That's interesting. I'm not sure what else that would mean. Are there more things here though? Yeah, miner camp, a blacksmith, a shop three, a wheat farmer. Oh my gosh, and a costume shop. Oh, we are going to have to do that too. We can upgrade our coop so we can have even more chickens. Frank, I think we are going to become the best of friends. I am going to visit you very, very often if it means we can have more animals. I'm not actually seeing the bulletin board out here. I'm not sure if it's something that he needs some extra time to build. But I don't see it in the center of town. I thought that was where they said they were going to put it, but I suppose it could always be somewhere else too. So we'll just keep our eyes peeled. Maybe we'll come across it as we're heading home. Unfortunately, I do think that we missed our chance to even open our shop, so I guess the rest of the day can just be spent finding things to sell tomorrow. Like these eggs over here, for instance. We're back, Mr. Jones. Hop in your fence, so hopefully we can scoop up all these things. Oh, it looks like he has some feathers in here. He has the eggs, of course, and the chicken poop, which actually sold pretty darn well when we put it in our shop, so I am willing to pick it up again. Hopefully you don't mind, Mr. Jones. We're actually going to be back pretty soon because we're going to have our very own coop. So we won't have to come by and steal from you anymore. Now the other thing we wanted to take a look at was the crafting. I believe we were going to make a crafting table. We did give a lot of our wood away to Frank. So I'm not sure if we're going to have all of the resources that we need anymore. But we might as well give it a try. So now that we're back home... I don't see any bulletin boards here. Let's go ahead and open up our crafting menu again. So we need four wooden boards, four wooden blocks, and four wooden poles. That sounds easy enough. Let's go ahead and craft four of these. Or not. 
Oh, that's what I was afraid of. All right, so it looks like we're going to be on the wood hunt today. Maybe we should have built one of those axes first, because if we can go by and chop down all of those logs, it's probably a much easier way to gather wood than just finding them piece by piece in the world. It looks like it's getting strangely cloudy. Is it going to start to rain out here? Oh my gosh. We want to make sure that we don't go out too far tonight, though. If you guys remember last time, we ended up passing out right outside our house. So we have to be super, super careful. I think we're heading back in the direction of the bunnies. I know they have quite a few daisies in their place, but I'm not sure if they're really big on wood. Maybe they can point us in the right direction. Yeah, it looks like they have a couple of pieces lying around at least. And I see that gorgeous waterfall in the background. Did we go up there before? Maybe that's something we should visit too. Though I do see that it's getting pretty late over in the corner of the screen. Yeah, we'll just take a quick dip. Poke around. Oh, there's bunnies up here too. You guys are absolutely everywhere. I can't wait until we can grow our own carrots because I'm sure that's going to make these little guys happy. How gorgeous is this place though? Oh, I can't get over it. This game is just beautiful. All right, though. Let's head back home before we end up passing out. Luckily, I can still see our roof over all these hills, so we aren't too far away. And tomorrow morning, we should probably look into building that axe. Home sweet home. All right, little kitty, let's tuck you into bed. Our kitty actually had a pretty eventful day today, didn't she? She found quite a few new things. Oh my goodness, but we did spend quite a bit of gold. It looks like we're in the negative today. Oh, and there's nobody out here to give us any quests. I guess it's because of that mysterious bulletin board. Yeah, deliver to the bulletin board. Frank installed the bulletin board. You can now take quests from the townsfolk. The bulletin board is in the middle of the town next to the market. Complete a quest from the bulletin board, and I guess we'll get some coins for it. Yeah, so it sounds like he just hadn't finished it yet, but now it should be fine. Oh, Mr. Jones? Did he send us a package full of baby chickens? Oh my gosh! You've got one good looking chicken coop. I've got a few extra chicks and some feed for you to raise. Once you have the chick, put it in your chicken coop. Then feed it every day till it matures in a week. Oh, Mr. Jones! You didn't have to do that! We were literally going to come by and just give you some gold for the chickens. Oh, and our daisies grew too. Excellent. That was pretty fast. We might as well go ahead and pop some more daisies in the ground then. Sounds like it's going to be a pretty good way for us to make some money. Now, where on earth is this chicken coop that they're talking about? Where did Frank build it? Oh, there it is. Right in front of our shop. Oh my goodness. This thing looks so cool. It looks like they left the gate open too, so it's a little bit easier for us to get inside. We don't have to break into our own chicken coop. So is it this where we can place our chickens? Place a chicken here and feed it every day for a week so it can become a fully grown chicken. All right, so we have two of them. Oh my gosh, they're so sad. We need to give them some bird seed right away. All right, so as soon as we feed them, it makes them nice and happy. They have seven days left. That's pretty cool. I like that it shows exactly how much time they have left before they mature. And there they are. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. Look at those chubby little blobs. They might be the cutest chickens I have ever seen in a game. So now that they're all full, they should be happy to stay here during the day. And we better go into town before it gets too late. That way we can actually come back here and open up our shop today. We'll just plop some of our extra things inside this chest. We have some extra bird feed. We'll save this here though so we have something to feed them tomorrow. And we might as well put our boards in here too. So they said that the bulletin board should be right in the center of town. Oh, and we were going to look into making that axe. Yeah, let's just take a very quick peek in here to see what it actually takes. That way we'll know if we have enough. One of those wooden poles and one of those stone blocks. Oh, it looks like we don't actually have enough stone to make that either. So let's keep our eyes peeled again. And hopefully we can pick up some extra resources along the way. But yeah, I'm very curious to see what we're going to get from this bulletin board. Maybe whatever request is on there will even give us some resources too. That would actually be pretty nice. And there's our stone. Now we should have enough for that. 
And hopefully all this wood is right around the corner. Ooh, is that the bulletin board right there? Yeah, it looks like it's right at the entrance to the town. So this must be the one. All right, so Charlie wants some tea? Hi there, I'm looking for five dandelions real quick. Oh, he'll give us 181 golds? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we have the dandelions that you need, Charlie. Was Charlie the one over here, right at the entrance of the town? Oh, that wasn't too hard. Charlie, we have your dandelions? Wait a second. We have daisies. Oh my gosh, that's why he won't talk to us. We need to find him some dandelions, not our daisies. I'm not actually sure if I've seen any other types of flowers out here. I wonder if that's something that we're going to have to grow? Or maybe we have to find a different place around the world? Huh. Well, that's an interesting mystery. It actually looks like Sammy might have some dandelions inside his garden. So are you selling any dandelion seeds by any chance? Oh, Sammy actually has a quest too, okay. Hey, fellow shop owner. I love my little island, but my customers don't want to swim to get here. Think you could help me build a bridge? All I need is 30 more wood. If you could bring it to Frank, he'll build it. Oh my gosh, everybody wants wood. Well, we'll add it to the quest log. But I was hoping that maybe you would have some dandelions. Nope, it looks like it's only strawberries and wheat. Alright, so I guess we still have some searching around to do. Maybe if we build him the bridge, he'll be willing to tell us where he found all these dandelions. It doesn't look like we can pick from them anyways can't steal from Sammy's garden, so there must be a different place for us to find them. Well, the shop can be open now, so just in case somebody is selling them somewhere around town, let's make sure that we actually have the funds to purchase it. Oh, wait a second. Look at this. We have dandelions right next to our shop, too. If only we could just pick those up. Let's go ahead and fill up our shelves, though, with all of the daisies that we found. Oh my goodness, we have stacks and stacks. I think I'll put the eggs in here too, because I'm sure those are going to be worth a little bit more. Then we can just sit up here on top of our chair and hopefully watch everyone come running in. They're usually pretty quick. Seems a little bit quiet today, but there they come. Oh, barreling in in pairs. We have, I think, a cat and a bunny coming up. I'll bet the bunny is going to be interested in those daisies, right? Oh my gosh, and that face. That cat has the cutest face. Oh, are you actually buying an egg? Well, 40 gold is not bad. Not what I expected, but maybe that bunny has something special to do for breakfast tomorrow. We have a little panda bear too. Everybody looks so dizzy and confused. Is this your twin? Oh, okay. Maybe you want to buy something? There we go. Go ahead and give that daisy to your twin. Oh, Sammy came to visit. Are you going to buy any of our items? There you go, Sammy. Yeah, I think these are all of the animals just wandering around town, right? I thought they were all randomly generated, but I guess some of them aren't. Oh my gosh. That guy, though. You actually have the same skin as us, but a terrifying expression. Look at those red eyes and those big teeth like the Cheshire Cat. And he has running off with one of our daisies. That is a face of pure mischief. I don't want to know what he's going to do with that daisy. We sold all of our eggs, so maybe we should come down here and drop some more items in the shop. We have our feathers, too. And I'm curious to see how much those are going to be worth. Oh, but they are just flying off the shelves. All of these animals are into the daisies, at least. So it's a good thing we're growing so many. Is anybody going to buy one of those feathers? Maybe this little bear will be interested? He's really taking his time with all of our items. Really assessing every last one of them on the shelves. Yeah, it doesn't seem like too many people want feathers. I guess you can understand why, though. Daisies would be nice to display around the house, but the feathers? Maybe not so much. Well, that bunny certainly has plans for the feathers. 20 gold for the feathers? Oh my gosh, and that panda! Oh no, he's leaving already! That skin is gorgeous! Oh, I love the rainbow skins! I think these guys might be getting a little bit bored of the flowers now. Let's go ahead and combine these two, and then we'll place our chicken poop in here, I guess. 
Yeah, we might as well try to keep as much variety in our shop as possible. We're actually getting pretty close to the end of the day, and I'm wondering if maybe we should just close the shop now. That way we'll still have time to go out and try to find some more wood. We have a pretty good collection of cold at this point anyways. And we're getting some pretty strange individuals showing up in our shop now. Let's go ahead and close this down. Oh, wait a second. This little bunny has something to purchase. Oh, we're going to have to do this very, very quickly if we don't want to keep running back. Okay, the shop is closed now, guys. Oh, nice. It looks like somebody was just about to buy our chicken poop. Can we just place these items right here for now? That way they're not clogging up the inventory. Yeah, we'll fill it with the daisies. We want to keep our bird feed inside our inventory, though. Yeah, that might be a good idea. That way we'll have more room. Oh, the poop isn't up there anymore? Well, that's strange. Hopefully we're still selling it. It does still say that it's in there. Alright, so a couple more pieces of wood, and then maybe we can look into building that axe. It's nice that all of these items respawn on these pathways every single day. If we find the right route that gets us the most items for our projects, then I think we'll be golden. But I'm gonna take the tried and true pathway tonight. The one that leads us straight over to our little meadow of bunnies. Oh, and the dandelions. Is that what this is? Oh no, wait a second. It looks like it might be a purple flower. I saw those yellow leaves and I thought it was a dandelion poking out. But this is just a purple daisy. I mean, to be honest, it's actually pretty gorgeous. I would love to have some purple daisies in the house. So we'll definitely grow those too. I bet they'll be worth quite a bit. Oh, and the ducklings. Oh, are they growing? It looks like they might be different colors now. Maybe it's just the lighting, but these ducklings are absolutely adorable. I wonder what the ducklings like. Do you think maybe we just need to give them some bird feed? I suppose we could always give it a try. If we open up our inventory and swap these around with our purple daisies. Let's see if the birds like the bird feed. No, it doesn't seem like we can interact with them. That would be too easy, right? We probably have to find them some bread or something instead. Ooh, there's another chest down there too. Right next to this guy, who seems to have another one of the quests for us to complete. Oh, this was the bear who had the carrot patch. And it looks like he actually does have a bunny inside today. Are you going to give us any clues about how to raise bunnies? Hey there, I'm Thorn. These islands are great for growing flowers. If you bring me 10 daisies, I can trade some for these dandelion seeds. Ooh, yes, Thorn. That is exactly what we're looking for. Of course, it figures that we would leave all of our daisies at the shop. I'm sure we have enough, but we will have to deliver them tomorrow instead. Alright, so with all of this new wood in our pockets, let's start making our way back home. Or I suppose we don't even have to do that, do we? We could just pick up the extra wood, and then we could probably craft this axe right out here. Then maybe we can see if there's anything that we can break down with it. So let's go ahead and open up our crafting menu again. And just to be sure, we need one wooden pole and one stone block. So the wooden pole and then the stone block too. And now we should actually be able to make every single last one of these tools. Well, we're going to go ahead and start with the axe. And I think that's really going to help us out. Let's make sure that we equip it down here and we'll see what we can do with it. Yep, it definitely looks like we can chop down some trees now. I'm not really sure if I want to chop down like the bunny's trees. Do you think they'll grow back? Hopefully there's at least a way for us to, like, plant this tree again. I don't want to ruin your home. Oh man, it doesn't look like we gained any seeds. We'll have to come back here tomorrow just to make sure that it actually grows back, because I definitely don't want to risk destroying their entire meadow. They have the life out here after all. It is one gorgeous home. So yeah, the axe is a much, much faster way for us to gather wood, and I bet it's a good way for us to clear out all of those logs on the beach too. So I think in the next episode, we should be able to gather up enough wood for Sammy's bridge. We'll make sure that we pick up all of these daisies over here too, so we can bring them over to Thorn. And then once he gives us those lovely dandelion seeds, we should be able to make the tea for Charlie too. I'm slowly starting to learn all the names of the creatures around town. Oh my gosh though, the gorgeous, gorgeous views in this game. The sunset is so pretty. Well, there's no more perfect view for us to end this episode on. So for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!